Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You can gain you gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay, okay. The game evolves. There's a rattler. It's a three one. Uh we could sacrifice for our stoat. I think I'd rather wait and sacrifice for the wolf, which would then give us an opossum as well. We could do both on the next turn. Yeah, we'll just wait. Take three damage. Alright, we're going to play the two squirrels. And we'll sacrifice them both for a wolf. Put the wolf on the opposite side of the board for the fun of it. From the death of your creature, you gained a bone. I gained two, in fact. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. I'm going to use them for my possum to kill the rattler. Perfect. Good job, opossum. Oh no, I don't want that that guy to hurt my wolf. Can I... Well, I guess I may as well sacrifice it, right? What do I have, actually? I've got... Is this just another wolf, or is this... Uh, If this is another wolf, maybe... Hang on, let's just check. It's a bullfrog. Oh, okay. Eh. Oh, whatever. We'll just sit with this. Oh, we have pliers again. Oh, can I just keep using the pliers? Was that an option? I could have used them again. Oops. No. All right. We get our squirrel. We'll put the squirrel down. Sacrifice a squirrel for a... Do we want to get the bullfrog or the stoat? We'll get the stoat. It still is sleeping. We won. Uh, where's my oh? I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. All right, let's get that. Oh, hello, squirrel and black goat. All right. So he's played with someone other than me, I guess. Because I don't remember doing that. All right, here's the figurines. I get to pick which one? No, I have to do this one. Okay. Let us continue. Sweet. We have the meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? That's uh, that's quite costly. The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. Uh, six bones is a lot. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. That's helpful, but it costs four bones. Hmm. Well. This gives us more summons with the other cards. I don't have many other cards right now. The coyote is four bones. The cockroach, you can kind of think of the cockroach as costing one less because you get a bone when it dies. So there's only three bones for a useful effect versus four bones for just two damage, six bones for three. We're gonna go with the cockroach. Also, we could maybe sacrifice and put on something else uh, with the runes, the sigil thing. You know you're free to get up again. Okay, but I want to play. To keep your blood flowing. Alright, well, I mean, he's telling me to. I I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the, this map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Uh... Well, I mean, all right, let's walk around the room, poke you in the eyes, nope. What is, uh, I can extinguish another candle? Hang on, there used to be, 
two candles before. Or that one was lit. I don't remember. Hmm. Here's a safe. No clues as to what we can do with that. Oh! Oh, that's the rule book. Alright, let's play. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Alright. Uh, boulder, squirrel, or bone tokens. I'm not a f I don't think bone tokens are worth a whole lot. I'd rather have a squirrel. Uh, maybe a boulder would be good. I like the squirrel. Oh, I can look at my cards. Is that all I have, really? Alright. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh, let's check the rule book then. 273. Doesn't look like that ended well. Or that, or that. Spilled blood. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of sacrifices made during your turn. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. You draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Start a battle with the black goat on the board. Oh my. There's a lot of rules. Cool. I like that. So, 273. Good to remember. We will keep that in mind for when we win this match. We'll get up from the table and just open the safe right in front of him. And I'm sure that'll go well. Uh, we can put the squirrel down and sacrifice for the stoat, but I think we go with the same strategy as last time, which is just take some damage, take two damage, and then we can sacrifice two things next turn and put an opossum out. I like that plan. We'll just uh, ring the bell. Go ahead with your sparrows. Thank you. And then we'll grab a squirrel, a squirrel, a squirrel, and we will, uh, yeah, we're going to sacrifice the squirrels for the wolf. I'm just wondering whether we put it in the middle for damage or put it here for the bird. Mm. May as well start clearing things out. All right. And then we can use the possum and put him in the middle. We No point putting him here against the sparrow because he'd just get killed by the sparrow. He'd deal one damage and then die. So this way he can actually balance out the sparrow's damage. Oh, what am I saying? The sparrow flies over and doesn't attack him. I'm forgetting that a lot. Oh well. That's probably the wrong spot to put him. Uh, we can grab a squirrel. And then we will put the squirrel down here and sacrifice him for the possum, for the stoat, excuse me, just to get ahead on damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be fine. You're just canceling out the sparrow's damage. What am I saying? You're dealing damage to the sparrow. I'm I'm really struggling with the flying mechanic. It's such a simple mechanic and I'm forgetting how it works every time. Alright. Good job. Alright. Well, we won that. Next is some card. Oh, what am I saying? Oh, uh, sorry. We'll get some cards then we'll get up and open the safe. The code is 273. Uh, Marmot. Oh, that's our guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Coyote and the mantis, the fervid mantis, is prying claws strike you both to the left and right. Whoa. Uh, strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. So we will not strike the space across from it, I guess. And a trifurcate is that would also strike the one across. All right, all right. Oh, I love it. So whenever we lose, we get to make a new card. I love it. It's so cool. Uh, well, I like this. Hitting two spots seems really good. Pick up the mantis. It can't defend itself, though. Uh, let's check out the safe. Hopefully it doesn't get upset. Uh, oh, I'll go the other way. Okay. Two, seven, three. Okay. Three. We did it. We got a stink bug. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is is the stoat around the stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Okay, I'll take it. Sure. 
uh, and the key as well. Oh, oh I'm, I'm keeping the key. We're opening stuff. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. It's a coyote. That's a stoat. That's a stoat. That's a stoat. What determines whether it goes up or down? Oh. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck. And I'll deal with you one every so often. That's cool. Uh. Oh. Cannot put that one up. Okay, so I have to deal five damage here. He's flying, it doesn't matter. Can I put him up? Oh, yes, I can. I'm confused. Two, three, one. Oh, that's enough. Oh, wait, no, he's, he's, he's blocking. What am I saying? He blocks. Hmm. Can I not put him up? Yeah. One, three, two, yeah. Nope. One plus three plus one should be five. Hang on. Hold on, what? It says two damage. Uh, I am missing something. What am I missing? Am I supposed to kill these guys? One damage. One damage still. Zero damage. I don't understand. What? I don't get it. All right. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. All right. We are unlocking stuff. Great. And there's some more. So hold on. I want to figure this one out. What did I What did I do here? Three, one, one. Why? Why did that help me? Oh, is it the, the slink? Oh, the skink or whatever. Something about that ability. I don't. I just don't know that ability. Let's go have a look at it. The rule book. Uh. Oh, hang on. We saw the ants one. Ant spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Hmm. We want to look for. There we go. Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. That's why it wasn't working for us. Okay. Uh, so so we were hitting this guy and it was putting a card right there. And then hitting that guy and putting a card right there. Got it. This is good. So we don't want... Obviously we don't want that guy. Oh, it's locked, I guess. We don't want to be hitting that. Um, if we bring that down and just leave him there. Is there... Uh, one, two, hang on. Oh, if we put this down, we get a, an ant. Does the ant go down right away? One, two, we, we, how did, okay, hang on. So we got three that way. This would give us four, I guess. I guess this deals, oh. Okay. Um... Hmm. 
The ant spotter says, oh, uh, the ant spotter says, when it's played, it adds an ant to your hand. I don't understand how this is dealing one damage. Okay, so again, we've, we've solved something without really understanding how we solved it. Caged wolf. Curious. All right. Hang on. So, Spawn, 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 two damage. Why does spawning deal a damage? I need to check that rule book again. Uh, we want the ant spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Maybe I need to look at the ant card. Let's check the ant card. Uh, worker ant. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Oh. Okay. So putting more ants down makes them... Whoa. I see. Deal more damage. Wow. Okay. That could get strong. Be like a, a group of four damage guys. So that meant that one, two, three means he deals three damage and he deals two. All right. Uh, porcupines. He would hit there and there. He would hit there and there. We don't want that. We just die, I think. Uh, we get a three. Oh, I guess we do. We don't want the slink, so we don't want this one. No, I have to. Hmm. And... Does this help? We don't even have enough damage. So one, two, and then he disappears, right? Hold on. I need clarification on the, the loose tail. Loose tail. Uh, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the right. So what's a tail? Can we find something about that? Is this... Uh... All these boons, one and a half bones. Mm. Okay, I don't see anything about a tail. So what does a tail do? Because that might be important to this puzzle here. Uh, if we hit this guy and he disappears and tries to go to the right, but then he can't. What happens in that situation? Does this guy then deal? Here, let's just press. Two damage. So we got one, two. That's it. Okay. We don't want this to be hitting him. Yeah, that's because he gets spawned. Did we put that up? No. Nope. Um. It's it's irrelevant whether this is up or down in our case. Oh, it's not irrelevant because we deal two damage there. So, or we deal one extra damage. One, two, three, nothing, nothing. All right. We're not dealing anything there anyway. Nope. He stays in spot. Oh! No, that does not apply there. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of screwing us here. One, he, wait a second. If he kills himself, does he not hit to the right, maybe? 
I think that is the case. There we go. Okay. That's interesting. So he hits left first, takes a retaliate, and then hits right. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. The squirrel. In time, you will understand its power. Okay. Well, I think we just unlocked a bunch of stuff there. Oh, hang on. There's some, like... Uh... We can't do anything with that. Darkness behind us? Oh, hang on. There's, like, a blue circle here. Is it becoming lighter? Or is that just my eyes adjusting somehow to the black screen? Nope. No change. Okay. To the table. Time to play some cards. Hey, we get to sacrifice something. Uh, we are sacrificing... Oh! The choice is yours. So he's a stink bug. Ooh, this is a tough choice. We have some cool stuff. Hmm, does it overwrite the sigil on another thing, though? If it does... Oh, we can put it on the... On the hang on. I want to look what else we have. Oh, I'll go, he says. No. The caged wolf. Six health. No. He's not an ant spawner. It says, well, okay, if the cage wolf, if the cage gets broken, do we just get a wolf out of that? It doesn't say anything about it, but I kind of get the impression that's what would happen. We could put something on just the regular wolf. Okay, so the cockroach is unkillable. Copy of his created in your hand. So we can make something here unkillable. Make the caged wolf unkillable? Would that be good? Obviously the stout would like to be... Uh... Oh, you know what? We could just keep summoning possums. That gives us more sacrifices and... It, uh... Yeah, I mean, like, we'd just be reducing the cockroach's cost down to two instead of being four. That actually makes it quite useful. So it gives us, it costs one bone, or I mean, it, it costs two bones, minus the one that it generates. So it costs one bone, and it gives us an extra sacrifice. We just have like another reliable source of sacrifice. So I think that's what we'll do at the same time. Putting the mantis on a three damage guy, was that's, that would be pretty nice. First turn, we sacrifice a wolf and deal six damage to him and just win. Maybe that's how we go about it. Uh, that seems like a good idea. Hmm. Is that a trap? Is that like, if we do that, then we're messing ourselves over. Oh, this guy costs bones as well. I didn't notice that before. Mm hmm. Alright, well those are my two choices, I think. Um, it would be interesting to put the ant spawner on the caged wolf, just to give it more life, but then we'd be losing an ant. So I think keeping the ant queen is good. Let's, let's go for the big guns. One guy that deals a bunch of damage, that's what we're doing. Okay, so... Oh, hang on. Alright, pick this. Sacrificing the mantis. Pick this. It's me, he says. No, it's not you this time. This time we're putting the wolf. We now have a wolf that hits twice. Excellent. What is that? And what is that? So that's a fight, obviously. What is this? Let's go here. Oh. Cheat mode. So he has flying, right? You again. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. <laughs> you got a plan? We have another friend here. 
You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Oh, hang on. You know what? Is there an option? Options. Alter deck. Start screen. What is this? Alter deck, but there's a zero up here. Uh, okay. Let's open the options. Dialog text speed. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Good. Thank you. We are in deep this time. So there's a cockroach. Another friend. And a squirrel. So we could sacrifice for him. Hmm. We have a boulder, a porcupine, and a sparrow with... With... Oh, this adds moving. Hmm. Alright. We could sacrifice the stone in this case. If we put... Oh wait, no, not quite yet. We want to hold on then. Yeah, I think next time we're going to draw a card, hope it's a wolf or something, and uh, and then use a consumable squirrel. Alright, we took a couple damage, and then he moved. We're going to draw this, and it was a bullfrog, which is not what we were looking for. How does that work? So does he just not come in this turn? Hmm. So it adds the moving, but it didn't add it to the porcupine. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, these are not great cards. We only have one damage dealer in the wolf. Like, he's the only guy that actually gets stuff done. Uh... Well, may as well start dealing damage to the Sparrow. Total misplay, he says. Too bad. It's my misplay. Um, You know what? These guys deal one damage. They're going to start filling there. Okay, dude. Calm down. I'm taking my time. Um, I could put the Stink Bug down, start dealing some damage that way, and it would also reduce the damage of the Sparrow when he, when he pops in. So let's do that. Use a squirrel. Stink bug. Stink bug costs bones, not sacrifice. Brilliant. Right, if I put the bullfrog, he's going to just get killed by the spare. Oh no, he's not going to get killed by the spare. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that move. Right now, his board's kind of blocked up, isn't it? We're just going to wait. We have a squirrel in the field. So be it. Oh. I might just die. <laughs> uh, Alright. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, how does this work? When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Okay. So it's fine for like a one-time use against the porcupine, I guess. Uh, now, we would need to sacrifice something. We're going to deal one damage, which puts us back... You know, it kind of saves us from the one damage that will be dealt here. Oh, and then we can put the stink bug down here. And he's going to save us from that damage as well. Okay. So, we'll put the slink here. He's going to take one damage from the porcupine when he hits it. And we're alright with that. Put the stink bug down. There you are. So he reduces that damage. We get a couple damage in. All good. Took his one. Then when the porcupine goes to attack, he moves. Oh! It's hard to call it cowardly. Can I sacrifice the tail? Well... We don't have any room for squirrels, so let's draw something else. I see the way this is going. I concede. Oh, really? You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Uh, do we accept his concession? How do we feel about this? I mean, it would be slow. <laughs> oh, was he saying back in the game? Um... 
Yeah, we'll, we'll take his concession. Whatever this is, it's a trap. I don't want to walk into a bear trap. All right. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his t his pelts. Okay. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at my pelts? The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Oh, well that would have been nice to know. Take a pelt, free of charge. Oh, take a pelt, free of charge. Uh, rabbit pelt, okay. See, see the quality? Uh, yeah, what do I do with this? Is it, like, do I put it down and sacrifice? Golden pelt. I could buy a wolf pelt, but I don't see the value. Like, what does this actually do for me? Hmm. I'll save up for a golden pelt in case we meet this guy again. Okay. You're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. I, I don't want to. Fine. You'll need more teeth for that one. You'll need more teeth for that one as well. Then what the heck am I supposed to do? Okay, I took it. The, thanks for your business. All right. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay. Hey, this is, this is, I mean, as far as teaching the player mechanics, this is awesome. Uh, the trader further down the path. I'm guessing that's the trader. Uh, backpack or campfire? Well, we are doing fine on stuff. So I don't want to go to a backpack because we'd only get one item out of it. So let's go to the campfire and find out what that's about. Ooh. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of the, your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that it will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Yeah, I don't really want to sacrifice one of my guys. Hmm. Oh. You guys want to tell me what will happen? Who am I sacrificing? One of you two? Uh, the opossum is kind of cool. I like him. I'm not sacrificing him. The bullfrog is pretty useless. Let's get rid of the bullfrog, I think. Goodbye. Oh. No, he, he literally just got power. I thought these guys were going to eat him or something. The fire warmed the poor bullfrog, enhancing its power. The poor bullfrog. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the bullfrog away from the fire and left. Dang it. I wish I'd boosted the wolf then. Uh, let's go here. What is that symbol? Uh, burrower. Oh, okay, sure. Well, that's helpful to me, actually. A grand fur. I could put down a squirrel and get a skink for whatever reason. Hmm. There's a sparrow coming in as well. I mean, I may as well do this. We put the skink here. We block this the coyote. He deals the two damage, and then we hit him next. I like that idea. All right. So we'll deal one damage, and the coyote just gets blocked by our skink. Oh. And then we want a squirrel. And. Our skink will take out the coyote, will take one damage, that's alright. Then a porcupine comes in, deals one damage, and unfortunately our skink is going to hurt himself. So we're just going to sacrifice him. 
and the Ant Queen. So hang on, hang on, hang on. I know I'm, I'm really struggling here with uh, how this works. So ants is our damage, yep. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand, amazing. So we're going to play a squirrel and sacrifice that squirrel for the ant queen. Hang on, hang on. I'm thinking of putting the ant queen here and putting a wolf here to kill the sparrow. Do we do this wolf first maybe? Oh, what am I saying? We put him across from the porcupine because he hits the other two. Yeah, okay. Super strong. Way to go, wolf. And then... I should have... See, my problem is I don't know if the ant queen's... The ant that it gives me... One, two... We'll find out next turn, I guess. What are... The wolf's dealing damage. Way to go. Uh, and then we will take a squirrel, put two squirrels down, and put an ant queen. And worker ant, power in numbers, the ant's creed. Yeah. Now the wolf's gonna deal damage, but then he's gonna die, unfortunately. So be it. And we may as well sacrifice for a worker ant. And the worker ant will have two attack because we have two ants, right? That's an ant queen. It must be an ant. Oh yeah, it has one, of course. So we'll take a squirrel, put him down, sacrifice squirrel, put down the ant here, kill the porcupine. And the queen will finish off that. Very good. Uh, is there any reason to do anything else? I don't think so. Maybe we'll get something that uses bones. Nope. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so those are the teeth that we can use for buying pelts. Excellent. Let's go to the trader. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Is this a woman? That doesn't look like a woman. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Can I look at... No, no, I want to look at the person. Oh well. Okay, you would trade me a beaver. What does this do? Dam builder. When a card bearing the sigil is placed, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power to health. That seems really good, but it costs two sacrifice. A raven egg. Uh, will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. What does a raven look like, though? The rat king? Four bones. Okay... I'm not a fan of the, the building around the bones. Leader. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. That's pretty handy. Um, turkey vultures flying 3-3. Three, three. Rattler. Not, not a fan of that. Uh, the mole's kind of cool. Only costs one and he blocks four damage. Whereas the beaver costs two and he blocks eight damage. Which is really good. I want the cat. Where's my cat? Uh, I'm curious about the raven egg actually. It's one sacrifice, it could soak one damage, and then it grows into something. That might actually be the best. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going for the raven egg. Let's do that. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. I, I, I swear that looks like a guy, not a woman. Um, we could sacrifice, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I want to check my cards, I have to press up, so, goes into a stronger form, what if we put that on the caged wolf, hmm. what are our options, so we have sigil, draw an item, not super helpful right now, and the campfire to increase something's power by one, um, Q 
Okay, so if we were to put the skink on the wolf, <laughs> I, I don't think you can put two sigils on one thing. I don't know. Maybe it's something I should try and find out, but... Um... I am legitimately kind of wondering... Do we put the cockroach... The card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. If we just put that on the caged wolf... It's a s sacrifice to gain 6 health, but we don't deal any damage with him. Is there something this guy can do? I don't know. Hmm. Let's let's go to the let's go to the combining thing. I like this a lot. And my thinking is check oh the choice is yours your choice yep thank you i know that uh we could put the caged wolf down and then can we just put an ant on it so we have a six health ant that seems good oh wait no 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 it would, it would take the ant queen part of it like the generator which is nice but then we lose an ant overall Okay, never mind. So the caged wolf, six health. I mean, we could put slink on it, the skink on it, and then he just blocks a lot of damage. Hmm. You know, what, maybe we take the cockroach and put it on the opossum. We're just making a more efficient cockroach, and we don't have both of them in our decks that way, in our deck. Although there is something to be said for not reducing the number of cards in our deck. Hello. I'm not going to sacrifice you. You're too friendly. Ooh. Yeah, no. Well, we'll sacrifice the cockroach. And we'll put that on the opossum. It's me. The choice is yours. Yeah. So we'll just always have an opossum to use. I think that's smart. Provided we draw him. Oh, here we go. Eh, that's cheating. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Huh? The incessant clank clank clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector! Yee So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. In the flash. Okay. Uh, the smoke gives us a bunch of bones. Okay. We can just play it. Well, that's handy. We get a stink bug. He's putting in a coyote and a pack mule. So again, the pack mule is super helpful because destroying it gets us stuff. That's good to know. Uh, if I put down my wolf here, that's not smart. I could put the wolf down here though. Deal six damage, I think that's a good start. I mean, we're just gonna kill him in one turn, aren't we? Squirrel, yep. Smoke, yep. Wolf, sacrifice the two. Put the wolf down. So many bones. Uh, and then we can play the stink bug. Just put him here to start with, I guess. Like, yeah, we'd be blocking a damage, but whatever. Actually, not whatever, because then he would take out the coyote and the wolf deal extra three damage next turn. That's smart. Oh, we're wrecking this guy. Oh. There's gold in them cards! Oh, sh... I forgot. I 100% forgot that's how that worked. Alright, that was dumb of me. We are well behind now, because I just messed things up. Uh, do we draw and hope that we get... Hang on, what do we have here? Bloodhound, okay. I'm wondering if we draw and hope that we get the... Opossum. 
then we could at least play him. This guy, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space, which means our bullfrog is useless, because he would just die. Oh, he's not in the field yet, though. Uh, okay, okay, you know what? Let's draw a squirrel. Put a squirrel down. There you go. Get him! Uh, we can draw a squirrel. We're gonna have to... Yeah, you know what? Worker ants are cool. Alright, we're happy with the bullfrog. Let's go. These two are just gonna match each other for the time being. The adder will take out a gold nugget. And our worker ant will be taking out that adder on our next turn. You know what I should have done is actually drawn another card just in case we had the opossum. And then we could draw the squirrel next turn. Oh well. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Adder. And we'll draw this. Let's see. Prospector boss again. Yep. Put that down, and then worker ant will go here. Take out that adder. Very good. And... We could put the stoat down. Doesn't do us much good, does it? So, I'm going to draw a card. And we got the opossum. Perfect. Make use of our bones. Oh. Or, you know, just win. <laughs> Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You were the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Uh, can I... I can look at them, right? Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Uh, child 13, what is that? What? It's a cat. Oh! <gasps> We sacrificed a cat. We sacrificed three things. Are these the three things? The stalwart mole man. The ultimate defense. Uh, no. We did not sacrifice... What the heck? He does have two things. Mighty leap. And he has the burrower. The uninspiring gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Uh... No, shoot! I did not mean to click that. Alright, we have the uninspiring Gek. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Uh, alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. So my suspicion here is that the Gek is useful for something in the room. Can I, like, use my hand here? I'm just clicking. Oh, oh, here we go. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Uh, it's, uh, it's lunchtime. Ah! Does it fit? Cool. Just clicked at random and got it. What's the ring do? Oh. Caged wolf. Okay. So... The fact that there's a caged wolf literally in the room. Is there something in that skull's mouth? Oh. Free tooth. Hmm. Do 
Hmm. Okay, we got a ring. Can we do anything with that? Oh, well, let's play. Alright. The Venerable Alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. The Bullfrog and the Mantis. I'm going to take the Mantis because I would just want to sacrifice the Mantis to give something else the double attack. Ah, uh, then again, the Alpha's pretty good, isn't it? No, we already have a sink for our bones, so we're going to take the Mantis. Hmm, we're getting one item. Its bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Whoa, that's pretty good. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. That's really good. Uh, they're both really good. Three blood. We don't have anything that costs three blood to summon yet. Does blood hang around? Like, would I be able to sacrifice one goat and summon two things? I don't think so. So we'll take the scissors. I am making some assumptions. Okay, we could go to the trapper. We don't have a whole lot of bones yet. And we don't even know that there's a trader nearby. What is this thing? I'm curious what this is. We're scouting, I think. Totem. They're moving. So we got the Gek. He's not we're useless. I mean, he's just he's a squirrel that deals damage. That's helpful. I don't mind that. Uh, Possum's not super helpful right now. So, he's going to summon a beehive. Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, and airborne. So, if I just don't hit it, we're fine. And these guys will just sit there. Kingfisher. A bear card bearing the sigil? Well, yeah, I knew that. So, it's just a... What was that? Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Ah. All right. So it just deals one damage per turn. I can't do much about that. Okay. So, seeing as they've got things with two sigils on them, can I actually have two sigils on a single guy? That's amazing if I can. Uh, we definitely want to summon the Raven Egg here. I'm just sort of figuring out where I want to put things. Maybe... Put the raven egg in front of the sparrow. And then we'll put the gek across from the kingfisher, and he'll just sort of offset that damage. We don't know what's going over there yet, so I don't want to put the gek there. Uh, and that'll be our turn. Okay, so hang on. Uh, I want to check the raven. Okay, so the raven is a 2-3 flying. Eh, okay. That's fine. It's not bad. Um, We don't have anything to sacrifice yet, so... To use to sacrifice yet. And we still don't. I have one bone, so I can't do anything with these guys. Alright, well, we're winning right now as it is. That's good. Yep. So why would he put it there and not over there? Is it just completely random? That seems odd. Uh, stink bug or... Well, we still need to sacrifice. So, here's a skink. Use the skink here and it wouldn't do much good over the gek. It would get us one bone though, which lets us actually put the opossum down. Which we could then sacrifice. Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Put the skink down at the cost of one gek. We have the bone to put an opossum down, which we can then sacrifice when we draw something next turn. Okay. Oh, there's a coyote. I think we're just going to win this turn, right? So there's a mantis. I mean, sure, may as well sacrifice the opossum. 
May as well sacrifice the skink, actually. The possum will at least block two damage. Yeah. Put him here, and then I think we just win this turn. So, whatever. Okay, cool. Alright, what is this? You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. Ooh. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. That wasn't a raspy voice, by the way. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first you will choose a trial. A trial. Uh, am I just, okay, it's just at random, right? The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. That shouldn't be difficult for us. Oh, oh, I get to choose one of these. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. That might be a challenge for us. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. That's going to be easy, actually. Three sigils? I think that's going to be an easy one. Let's do that. Let the trial of wisdom begin. All right, got one, got two, got three. One from the Ant Queen, one from the Raven Egg, one from the Mantis. You have passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was a flying bullfrog. A bull. Oh my lord. Is, that's an OP combination. We could just infinitely sacrifice him for three. And a raven egg that, that blocks, which is exactly what we would not want it to do. Black goat, absolutely. That's amazing. The inhabited black goat joined your menagerie. Holy cow. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're getting a backpack, which doesn't help us whatsoever. Hmm. The amount of items you can carry is three, and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend? Oh. It's a pack rat. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Yeah, thanks, buddy. All right, so there's an advantage to going to those places. Uh, go here. There's a stump and sparrow, bullfrog, kingfisher, all dealing one damage. Totally fine. We can put a squirrel down and sacrifice for a worker ant. Maybe we use the squirrel. Hmm. If we use the squirrel, we get three guys down. I'm going to put the worker ant over here to start working on that stump. Actually, I'll put him over where the kingfisher is. That's that's better. Okay, put him down, worker ant, sacrifice the squirrel, put the worker ant down, pick up this squirrel, put him down, sacrifice him for the bullfrog. Uh, the bullfrog can fight the other bullfrog because he's better. And then the opossum can go down and... Uh, yeah, he'll just offset the sparrow, sure. And we're going to draw from this. The Mantis. Meh. Doesn't really do anything for us right now, so we'll hold on to it. The Skink doesn't do anything for us either right now. We'll keep sitting. Great, and, uh, and I think we're going to win this one, but let's first draw a squirrel so that we can sacrifice it to put the mantis down, because we're trying to maximize damage to get more pelts. I'm glad they added that, that's great.
I am loving this game. This is so good. Uh, so, I've already forgotten... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Was this... Was this where we got the goat? The trial? Oh my gosh. It's another trial. That's amazing. Alright. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Uh, the trial of power. Four attack power to pass. The trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. That one might be a bit more of a challenge. Wait, two... Oh, you know, just an average of two each. That's fine. Yeah, I think most of our cards have an average of two. Uh, average of 1.3 for the attack. That one's a bit more of a struggle. I think a lot of our guys actually only have one attack, now that I think about it. And three for that. I'm going to go with the health. I think the health, the health seems pretty reliable. Let the trial of health begin. Oh my gosh, we hit it with one card. Six from the Caged Wolf, one from the Mantis, one from the Gek. You have passed. Ironically, the other two cards we drew were only one health. Uh, Raven, Flying Raven Egg, useless. Skunk with two attack, useless. And a Flying Coyote. Ah, these are awful choices. Do we take the Raven Egg just because it is the strongest of the cards? It's a, th it's a what is it, 2-3? Two, 2-3 three? Two, three Flying, I think? The skunk is useful as a blocker, I guess, but he doesn't deal any damage. Uh, and that's... I don't put much value in that ability, especially on a one health guy. Yeah, Raven Egg it is. Okay, not super pleased with that. Oh well. Maybe I could have chosen to pass instead of cluttering my deck. Oh, the Raven Egg's good. I'm happy with the Raven Egg. So we don't want to do that because we'd only get one item. Let's go to the campfire and boost somebody's power. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Uh, it was drool last time. No way, do what you must. Uh, you guys would get stronger, right? So why are you upset? Wouldn't that be a good thing? Hang on, so if you boost the opossum, then he's going to keep coming back to the 2-1, right? That seems good. The mantis, the black goat. Dude, the black goat, that's so good. Should we boost the black goat? The only way that would be bad for us is if they had a porcupine. Um, like I, I, I'm, I'm reading this right, right? So, sacrifice is 3 blood. Sacrifice does not perish. So good. Uh, oh, this is the definition of deck builder. You're, you're, you're building the cards themselves. I, so cool. We could put it on the skink. That wouldn't be a bad choice. We could put it on the wolf, of course. Deal more damage faster. The wolf is really good. Can we do that? Just like... Nah, I like having the opossum. I think the wolf and the opossum are my two kind of win cards right now. So, we'll do that. Plus one to the opossum. The power of the opossum was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, he withdrew. Alright, let's fight. A uh, grand fur. Here we go, the opossum and the black goat. Oh boy, oh boy. So... He's putting stuff down. We want to put the black goat here because then it won't get attacked necessarily. And we're definitely going to be drawing cards from out here on. So we'll put the squirrel down. Black goat. Sacrifice that. Put him there. Then mantis. Uh, what am I doing? I should have put the black goat here where the kingfisher was. Because he could actually put something dangerous down here. Uh, that was really silly of me. Dang. Oh well. Sacrifice the black goat. Put the mantis. And we only got one bone because the black goat didn't actually die. That's fine. Alright. So, it looks like he's only got flying guys. Hopefully he just puts another flying guy where the black goat is. Uh, the bullfrog can actually block the flying. Oh, how about that? There we go. That's helpful. 
Oh. We're gonna win next turn. Draw another card. Maybe we can get something better. Nope. Not quite. But ironically... Okay. We can't get rid of the black goat. Uh, I mean, that's it. We won. Let's get a card. The Grizzly! The monstrous Grizzly. His form speaks enough of its efficacy. It costs three, but it's a four six. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Yeah, whatever. The mantis. Okay, we're taking the grizzly for sure. Absolutely. And then we're next time we can sacrifice uh you know, do a sigil thing. We're putting the mantis on the grizzly. Oh hey, look at that. We can do it here. Awesome. Mantis, where are you? Get in there. The choice is yours. I'll go. Nope, you will not. I'm putting the grizzly in. Super strong. Alright, now we just need to get the wolf and the grizzly in the two middle spots, and then we win. I got the smoke. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Alright. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Alright. Around here somewhere? Like, as in I'm supposed to look around the board? Who's this for? Oh, it actually shows how many life points you have. That's good. Alright. Well, we could put the pack rat down and get cards, right? When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Nice. My pack is not full. So he would definitely be a good choice. I wish I had the goat. That would be so helpful. We can put a squirrel down, sacrifice for the raven eggs. That definitely seems like a good start. And I guess a kingfisher, why not, right? We'd be blocking the kingfisher and then dealing damage... Oh, when it's played. Sorry, I, I, I didn't even read that properly. It's when I played. I, I was thinking when the pack, pack rat dies. So I'm actually going to... One, two, sacrifice for the... No, you know what? I'm putting the raven egg down. Let's do that. Smoke. Raven egg. There you go. It's going to take one hit, and then it'll be doing its thing. And I'm not going to put the stoat down. We're going to hold on to that squirrel. And once again, I misunderstood the flying. For whatever reason, I thought flying would block. I'm too used to that. Uh, which fish are twos? Why does he have a hook on him? What does that mean? Are you going to kill him? That would not be fair. Uh, we want... Hang on, hang on, hang on. If he's gonna kill him anyway, does that mean I want to sacrifice him? Take a geck. That's no good. That's not helpful. Kingfisher. Put him down. Pressure fish. Easy choose. Oh... Uh, does that... Okay. So he's gonna kill one of my guys every turn? I gotta get this over with pretty quickly, I guess. Pack rat. Okay, maybe, maybe the pack rat will give us a uh, new fish. Easy choose. Okay. Yep. Pack rat. <laughs> Put that down here. 
take new fish. Easy. Whoa. I was kind of hoping... What is this? Hoggy bank. To the user, you will immediately gain four bones. That's no good for us. Unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we would, uh... That we'd get another squirrel. Or, not a squirrel. Yeah, yeah, another squirrel so we could put it down to sacrifice. I can destroy one of his cars. That's not helpful to me right now. We would actually almost win. We're... We're gonna be down to three, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would just use the pliers and we could win that way. Hmm. Oh, well. Deal the damage and then Fat Rat dies, I guess. Bullfrog. Mine now. Go fish. Okay, that's even worse. That actually just straight up takes it? That's awful. That's awful. Crap. What do I do now? Uh, is he gonna... Like, do I... Dang it. If I put this down, is he going to take it as well? No, it doesn't look like it. The stoat. You're going to sacrifice him. And then you're gonna take here and, uh... Take some damage from me, I guess. Soak some damage. We'll kill the pack rat. Fine, he says. I hope I get the opossum. This is not looking good for us. Oh, shoot. Did I miscount? Would I? One, two, three. Two, three. No, I'm okay. Hmm. Sailfish. fish. Hard choose. Uh... Maybe I should have just cut that. Hmm. If the stoat gets taken, that's not the end of the world for me. But I could sacrifice it. Oh, hang on. If we draw a squirrel, he's going to take the squirrel. But if I just put it right here where the bullfrog is... Hmm. Fresh choose. Oh, does he put it back there? I was thinking maybe he doesn't take it because the bullfrog's in the way. We'll find out. Oh, no. Does he... Oh. So he just doesn't take anything, I guess. What? Yeah, let's draw from this and see what we get. Oh, it's the wolf! We win! Perfect. Thank you. New fish. Easy choose. Yeah, not gonna happen, bud. Buckaroo. Oh, shoot. Right. Go fish. Oh, he's just gonna die immediately. That's so funny. We get an opossum? <laughs> That's actually what I was hoping for. Uh, what does the bait bucket do? I mean, it doesn't matter because we're just going to kill him right now. Watch this. Oh, and we got a ton of teeth. Easy. Let me relight your candles. Very well. You may choose a rare card. The Mole Man? I have no words for this freak of nature. The Long Elk. Is that is that based on the thing that we sacrificed? Touch of Death. When a card bearing the sigil... Oh, right. Damages another creature. That creature perishes. Oh, right. But at the end of the owner's turn, it, it moves. So that's kind of unfortunate, right? Because you'd kill the thing and then you move in front of another thing and get killed yourself. You don't really want that. If it moved at the beginning of your turn, that'd be amazing. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pat. What's with the mushroom? Uh, four bones, though. That seems handy, actually. Now, now that we saw how many bones we could end up getting in certain situations. Um, we could... Pick that up as just a 
kill a card card. Pack rat's kind of neat, but we're not really using our items anyway. The mole man's actually not too bad, is it? Just soak six damage. That's pretty good. Uh, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. How does that work for other flying guys? Oh no, I guess if it's not an empty space, you can't. I'm going to take the mole man. I think that's pretty handy. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. 